if we look at the following, they say, which we have six, we have 15, we have X, we have 45. And then they say it's a quadratic pattern of a sequence. Okay? Determine the value of X. So what are we supposed to do to now? We're supposed to tell them which one is going to be X. Okay? But now what kind of a pattern is this one? This is very important. They're telling us with this thing here, it's a what? It's a, it's a quadratic pattern. Now we did a question like this when, when it was linear. We are able to get a variable when it, this thing was linear. So how would we do it if it's a quadratic then? How then we approach this question if we are dealing with quadratic? So what we're supposed to do with the quadratic is to say, okay, we're going to approach it more or less exactly the same way when we're approaching linear, except instead of making the first difference to be equal, we're going to make the second difference to be equal. What do I mean by that? Let's look at the following. I agree you have six, and then you have 15, and then after that you have what? X, and then after that you have what? 45. What is this thing? We are not proving what is a quadratic, it's a quadratic. Okay? So I can then say to them 15 minus 6. What is 15 minus 6? It's a 9. And then I can say x minus 15. What is going to be x minus 15? x minus 15 is x minus 15. And then 45 minus x. What is going to be 45 minus x? It's 45 minus what minus x. Now, well, if this thing was linear, if they told us with this thing here, it's a linear pattern, and then they said that you mind the value of X. And then then was supposed to do this. I'm going to write it with the green color so that you'll remember. If it was linear, if it was linear, I'm being specific here. Don't do this. You can only do this if it was linear. What were you going to do from here? You are going to say, which, okay, 9 is going to be equal to X minus 15 if it was linear. Why do you say that? Actually, what do you know about linear? You know which the common difference is going to be the same, okay? Meaning, what if this is B, this is also going to be what to be B, and then B can be equal to what to to B. You can only equate them that way if it's linear. It is not linear. What is this thing? It's a quadratic. So since it's quadratic, we can't do that. So what are we going to do if it's quadratic? We're going to go to the second difference. When we go to the second difference, we're going to say this one subtract this one, and then what are we going to have? We're going to have x minus fifteen. Okay. Minus nine. I was still fine. Okay? And then after that, we're going to have 45 yeah? minus x. Okay? Minus open bracket. Since I'm subtracting two terms, I'm going to put it inside the bracket. In fact, let's let's get used to the idea of putting things inside the bracket when we're minusing. So minus open bracket. And then what am I going to have here? Like this, okay? And then from here onwards, then you can simplify this. If you simplify this, what are you going to have? X minus 24, okay? Because this one and this one, they are like terms. 45 minus X, negative and positive, minus X. Negative and positive, plus 15, okay? And then what are you going to get for this? This one and this one, they are going to give you what? It's 60 okay? minus 2x. Okay. Now, this is the second difference. This is the second difference. If this is the second difference, since this thing here is quadratic, I can then say to them, safely so, x minus 24 is going to be equal to 60 minus 2x. Take this one to this other side. What am I going to have? I guess it's negative. Okay? Mm. If I take it to this other side, it's going to become what? Positive. So I'm going to have 3x, which is going to be. Take this one to this other side. It says which I'm going to have, what, 84, okay? Divide by 3, divide by 3. What is going to be x? x is going to be equal to what, 28. Guys, I repeat again. I don't equate the first difference, okay? This is the first difference is not equal. What am I going to equate? I'm going to equate the what, then? The second difference. Why am I able to, differ, uh, to equate the second difference? Because on a quadratic pattern, the second difference is exactly the same. Remember, we say this is 2a, okay? And then we say, well, this is also going to be what to be 2a. Because this is 2a, and then this is also 2a. Then they, both of them, they can be what? They can be equal. And then that's what we are expected to do. Otherwise, everything else we still know how to do. Okay? We still know how to determine the n term. As long as we know how to get x, then we can go and get an n term. Let's consider the following pattern then and do number two again. Okay? 